my dear students how are you all i think you are all well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nievs home school i am mohammad ali amin opu an assistant teacher of mathematics national ideal english first school morning shift today i am going to take a math class for the student of class 2 so my dear students let's start our class our today's lecture number is 26 and you have no homework today our today's topic is word problem wp means word problem we will solve two word problem today from page number 63 we will solve question number 3 and page number 94 will solve question number 5 okay now look at the board i have write down the question number 3 from page number 63 already okay the question is there are 10 benches in a classroom five people can sit on a bench how many people can sit in total in the classroom how many benches are there there are 10 benches and the question is the question is how many people how many people that means how many students can sit how many students can sit in that bench in the 10 bench so we should write down number of people in the right side because which we need to calculate we will write down that one in the right side so we should write down five people can sit on one bench in arranging this one we can write down in one bench in one bench can sit in one bench can sit how many people five people five people the information is five people can sit on one bench and i have write down arranging the languages in one bench can sit five people because people in need to calculate that's why i write down people in the right side okay now in one bench five people can sit so we will find out in 10 bench how many people can sit so you should write down therefore in 10 benches can sit we need to do the operation here tables but my students what should we do here but that means which operation we should done here look there are two in the same line there are two units in the same line that means in this line first and there are two units one is bench and there is people already i have uh, taught you in the life class that when the two units are different then we should do multiply or we should do divide if we have in the right side one then we should divide but it is not one it is five then we should check in the left side in the left side from one we it is increased from one it is increased in general when increase something we will add or we will multiply so here we should multiply because this is increasing okay in general we should multiply so 10 multiply 5 we will write down 10 multiply by 5 okay and after that what should we do we should do rough here we should write down here 10 multiply by 5 it's 5 zeros are 0 5 5 ones are 5 that means 50 when we multiply 10 with 5 we'll write down 50 peoples that means my dear students there are 10 benches and in total in that classroom 50 peoples can sit okay so our answer will be also 50 peoples i hope my dear students you have understood okay now go to the next problem the next problem is question number 5 from the page number 94 okay the question is in grade 2 of high school there are 34 boy students and 51 girl students which students is more than the others this is the first question which student is more than the other it's our first question second question is and how many more it is a second question of this problem okay now the solution will be we should solve the first part here the first problem is the first question is which student is more than the other this means that we need to find out which number is greater 51 or 34 we should write down here here 51 is greater than 34 obviously 51 is greater than 34 okay that is why 
51 is greater that's why girl students are more than the boy students okay so you should write down so girl students girl students are more than the boy students boy students so this is our first task is done now i should solve the second task the second task is how many more how many more that means which one you need to calculate you need to calculate how many students are more how many girl students are more in that classroom the question is how many girl students are more in that classroom already we have found out girl students are more so how many more that means how many girl students are more that's why we need to subtract right so first of all we need to find out which is the question the question is how many more so how many more means how many girl students are more that's why we should write down student in the right side okay student in the right side okay now <coughs> this is the second part okay now <coughs> there are there are 51 girl student there are 34 boy students in a single line here in a single line there is only one unit that is students okay also here the unit is students that means the units are same when the units are same we should add or we should subtract here we need to find out the difference how many more that's why we should subtract this one okay so my dear students give a line here give a subtraction sign and subtract it subtract 4 from 1 is not possible that's why we will assume a magic one here and it become 11 now subtract 4 from 11 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 it is 7 so 7 will be here now this magic one will add with this 3 and 3 become 4 subtract 4 from 5 it will be 1 so 17 students more okay so girl students how many more it's 17 students more should I down more therefore more seven girl students more seven girl students okay the answer is what the answer is my dear students there are two parts of this question that's why the answer is two answers are there um, what students are more than the others is girl student more than the others so girl students will be our first answer is girl students it's girl students and we should give the comma how many more it's seven girl students more so sorry 17 girls more. We should have done 17 girl students students more okay so answer is girl students then comma 17 girl students more which is our answer i hope my students you have understood my today's lecture okay see you again inshallah with a new topic in a new class till then allah hafiz